the C-47 Skitran was born out of necessity. In the 1930s, the U.S. military recognized the need for a reliable, versatile transport aircraft that could carry troops, supplies, and equipment across vast distances. The prelude to World War II made this need even more urgent as the potential for large-scale, multi-theater warfare became increasingly apparent. Douglas Aircraft Company responded to this challenge by adapting their successful civilian airliner, the DC-3, for military use. The DC-3 had already proven itself as a robust, economical, and reliable aircraft in commercial aviation, so it was a natural choice for conversion into a military transport. The transition from the DC-3 to the C-47 involved several key modifications. First and foremost, the aircraft was structurally reinforced to handle the rigors of military service. This included strengthening the floor to support heavy loads and adding a large cargo door to facilitate the loading and unloading of equipment, vehicles, and troops. The C-47 was equipped with a reinforced undercarriage for operations on rough, unpaved airstrips and improved avionics for military navigation and communication. Despite these modifications, the aircraft retained the basic airframe and engines of the DC-3, ensuring that it would be both economical to produce and maintain. Before the C-47 was deployed in the field, it underwent extensive testing to ensure it could meet the demands of military operations. These tests included trials in various climates and terrains, including Arctic, desert, and jungle environments. The aircraft was also tested for its ability to perform in airdrop missions, which were essential for airborne operations. The C-47 passed these tests with flying colors, proving its adaptability and reliability. Its ability to take off and land on short, unprepared airstrips was a particularly important feature, making it invaluable for operations in remote or contested areas. Mass the empty weight of the C-47 was approximately 16,865 pounds, 7,650 kilograms, and it could carry a maximum takeoff weight of about 31,000 pounds, 14,061 kilograms, Length the aircraft measured 64 feet 5 inches, 19.6 meters, from nose to tail. Width with a wingspan of 95 feet, 29 meters, the C-47 had a substantial footprint, which contributed to its stability in flight. Speed powered by two Pratt & Whitney R-1830-90C minus minus twin WASP radial engines, each producing 1,200 horsepower, the C-47 had a top speed of around 230 miles per hour, 370 kilometers per hour. Range the aircraft could cover a range of up to 1,600 miles, 2,575 kilometers, with a standard fuel load, making it ideal for long-distance transport missions. One of the most significant advantages of the C-47 was its versatility. It could carry up to 28 fully equipped soldiers, 6,000 pounds of cargo, or even vehicles like jeeps and small artillery pieces. Its ability to perform in a variety of roles, troop transport, cargo delivery, medical evacuation, and paratrooper drops, made it indispensable to Allied forces. One of the unique features of the C-47 was its role in pioneering airborne warfare. It was the first aircraft to be widely used for large-scale airdrops of troops and supplies behind enemy lines, a tactic that became a hallmark of Allied operations during World War II. The aircraft's ability to deliver paratroopers and gliderborne forces into combat zones provided a strategic advantage that helped shape the course of the war. The standard crew for AC-47 consisted of three members, a pilot, a co-pilot, and a crew chief slash loadmaster. In combat operations, especially during airdrops, additional crew members could be aboard to assist with the operation. The C-47 played a vital role in several key operations during World War II. Perhaps most famously, it was the primary aircraft used in the D-Day invasion of Normandy, where it delivered thousands of paratroopers behind enemy lines to disrupt German defenses. The aircraft was also instrumental in the Berlin Airlift, where it delivered food and supplies to the blockaded city in 1948 to 1949. The Skitran was also a key player in the China-Burma-India theater, where it ferried supplies over the hump, the treacherous Himalayan supply route, proving its capability to operate in extreme conditions. While the C-47 was incredibly versatile, it wasn't without its limitations. 
the aircraft's relatively slow speed and lack of armor made it vulnerable to enemy fighters and anti-aircraft fire. Additionally, its cargo capacity, while sufficient for most tasks, was limited compared to larger, dedicated transport aircraft developed later in the war. These limitations were largely due to the aircraft's original design as a civilian airliner, which prioritized economy and range over speed and protection. The military adaptations made the C-47 a formidable workhorse, but it could not entirely overcome these inherent limitations. To address some of the C-47's vulnerabilities, later models were equipped with more powerful engines, improved navigation and communication systems, and, in some cases, additional defensive armament. However, the primary solution was the development of new aircraft specifically designed for military transport roles, such as the Fairchild C-119 Flying Boxcar and the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. During its production run, more than 10,000 C-47s were built, making it one of the most widely produced aircraft of the war. This massive production ensured that the Allies had the logistical support needed to sustain their operations across multiple theaters of war. Remarkably, the C-47 and its variants are still in use today, more than 80 years after they were first introduced. Their continued service is a testament to their durability and adaptability. Many have been upgraded with modern avionics and engines, extending their operational life. The aircraft is still used in civilian roles such as cargo transport in remote areas and in some military forces for transport and training. The enduring legacy of the C-47 is a tribute to its robust design and the critical role it played in shaping modern military aviation. The Douglas C-47 Skitran slash Dakota stands as one of the most important aircraft in military history. Its contributions to the Allied victory in World War II, its versatility, and its durability have earned it a legendary status. From the skies over Normandy to the jungles of Southeast Asia, the C-47 has proven time and again that a well-designed aircraft can transcend generations and remain relevant long after its introduction. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the history of the C-47, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the most iconic military vehicles in history. Let us know in the comments what aircraft or tank you'd like us to cover next.